Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 22 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. Don't forget to like the video. It's grain hauling season, ladies and gentlemen. So right now, what we're doing is unloading what we call the big machine shed. This is our flat storage building. We can hold 120,000 bushels of corn in here. Right now, we got about 60,000 bushels of corn here in this pile. From where we are right now to the back wall, there's about another 100 feet of corn. So what we do is take a grain cart, we back it in here, we pull it under this auger, and then we use the skid loader to keep pushing the auger in, and then the auger fills the grain cart, and then once that gets full, then we pull it out of here. The reason why we use an auger instead of a big loader is because we don't have a big loader, first off. Secondly, we use a short auger because we can back the grain carts right under it. I know in the past people have mentioned before that we should just get a really long auger and then pull a semi under it. The only issue is you can't really back a semi in here and fill the whole thing from this straight angle. And secondly, for one to run out the door to pull a semi into, you're looking at an auger that's well over 100 feet to be able to do that and it still wouldn't reach the back wall. This building is 170 feet long, so once you hit in the middle there, you're not gonna be able to get an auger long enough to get it out the door here. I know, it's a little annoying to clean out, but we are able to capture a lot of carry in the market by being able to store our own grain here. So it works, and that's the important thing. So as we keep taking corn out, we get more and more wall exposed. And in here we have these anchor cables that anchor to the floor, as well as the wall. So as we go along, more and more cables get exposed. And then we get corn underneath the cables and it's really hard to get out unless you're gonna shovel forever. So as we go along, we clear around the cables, then we can take the cables down and we can get the skid loader in there super easy and then just continue, keep working our way back. Looks like Super Trucker Parker's here. Once the grain cart's full, we either dump it in that wagon which goes up the leg into the hopper bottom and then later semis can pull under the sauger and load themselves or we can take the corn that's on the grain cart and just dump it directly on the semi. Our grain carts aren't big enough to fill a semi and one grain cart, so we have to fill it with two. But right now we're just running one cart. So if we do dump direct on, we have to dump one cart on, and then they still have to back under the auger to get more. What? You're not Parker. Close enough. Dang it, Parker. Super Trucker Parker. I'm out here training the young ones today. I make that look easier than it is, isn't it, Coop? Got any words of advice for us? Keep the rubber on the road. That's about it. Pit Vipers right here. These are the uh, exciters, I believe, is what they're called. Right, Cole? Yeah. Use the cor uh, coal to Corn Star? Corn Star Coal. Corn Star Coal. Corn Star Coal. Get your Pit Vipers today. The mullets, they're not included. These are the Gobi Double Wide. Hit them up, man. These are the uh, Murica's. block out from right there so then when the corn hits the auger it kind of piddles out a little bit and it makes a mess. for all of this, but I was a part of it too. <laughs> and Cole thinks the uh, power washer hose is a problem. That's clean. You just fold it up, put it away. Take a look at this. I don't know if you can see it. It's 
stupid wagon's been uh, splashing corn all over. So that's gonna be a bigger mess to clean up than the power washer hose. Uh, that'll give them something to do though. summer went shopping yesterday we had a blast the funniest thing happened though we were standing there and we were watching this old lady she was sitting in her wheelchair and we noticed her leaning over in her chair and pretty soon some family members or friends or somebody came over and they kind of propped her up and did some stuff over there at the wheelchair we really couldn't see what they were doing and then a couple minutes later we seen her lean in the other way like she was going to fall out of the chair some of her friends and family ran over and they propped her up and we seen them doing some stuff and pretty soon me and Summer decided to move on from where we were sitting and as we were walking by the lady says, hey, hey young man, young man. I knew she had to be talking to me so I walked up to her and I said, hey, how you doing? And she goes, I'm not doing very good. She goes, I think I'm gonna blow up. And I'm like, blow up? And she goes, yeah. I was sitting in my wheelchair and a little bit ago, I leaned to the to the right and oh, I was just leaning a little further and pretty soon my family, they run up and they prop me up in the chair and they put a bunch of pillows underneath my one side. And she said I was trying to talk to them and they wouldn't listen to me. So pretty soon she goes, I'm leaning to the left and I'm leaning. And she said all at once they run up and they prop me up again and they tied me to my wheelchair. She goes, I'm gonna blow up and I said, why would you think you're gonna blow up? And she goes, they won't let me fart. This is grain cart number six today. We look through the scab and make sure that's wiggling. And bam. Remember how when we were doing all the detailing and stuff on the tractors and I said I wasn't going to clean this tractor super good because it was going to get really dusty because we're going to be moving corn with it? Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Every time you open up the door, just thousands of these things come in. They get all over the floor, the dash, and the side stuff. So once we're done hauling corn for the year, then I do a really good cleaning of the cab. Because otherwise, it's just kind of an in vain effort. So what we did is we pulled all the equipment out of here and we're trying to get the corn back as far as we can. That way we can get the real disc and a four wheel drive tractor off to the side here and put another four wheel drive tractor in front of the trailer over there. That way we have this entire space here in the middle open because right now we've been having the four wheel drives basically right to the edge of where I am and then the real disc there and then we just have a narrow spot to back the carts into. We try to get the big machine shed empty as soon as we can that way we can get all of our equipment back inside because right now all the other shops are full and we have a few pieces of equipment that have to sit outside and we do not like when stuff sits outside. The weather is really hard on things, especially the sun. What I need to do before this corn pile starts getting any lower, I need to climb up in the top of the rafters there, and there's a board that I need to move. The cooling bin is on the other side of that wall, and we have augers set up to empty that bin right now into here. So then we'll just be able to keep this auger here in one spot, then it'll just come in right from the ceiling, and we'll be able to empty 10,000 bushels out of that bin before we have to get in there with the grain vac and clean it out. We're working smarter, not harder. Well, maybe not, but I like to think so. Okay, here we go on our journey up Corn Mountain. If any of you guys have ever skied before and climbed to the top of a peak in the loose snow, that's exactly what this is like. It wears you out fast. Okay, we're gonna try to get that cable out. Then we're gonna try to get this corn pile back to that pole right there. Then we should have enough room to fit a tractor in there. We should have enough room to fit the tractor in the real disc in over here. Then we'll have all kinds of room for activities in the middle. 